friends, I'm back with another video and today is the 31st and final day of the It's My Christmas Nails Challenge and today's theme is New Year's Eve. So I'm going to be doing a New Year's Eve mani on top of this beautiful polish and I know you guys have heard me say a bunch of times, OPI is not my favorite, it's probably my least favorite polish, but this polish I love. It is beautiful, it's this uh, like a deep royal blue and it's so sparkly and pretty and it's called, I think it's called D-S-L-A-P-I-S. I don't know how to say it. So, right there. D-S-L-A-P-I-S. That's how it's spelled. I don't know how to say it. So I'm not going to try. Because I will make myself look dumb. But it's beautiful. And check this. This is a one coater, guys. One coat. And it's beautiful. So, this one I do love. So, I'm going to be using this plate from set 6 of Uber Chic. And it is Uber Chic Plate 6-01. And yes, I will be doing re a review. Let me try to get it no clear. I will be doing a review and swatching this plate and the other two plates of the set for you guys shortly. But for now, I'm going to cheat and use it because I love it. And it's got this beautiful little, it's got Happy New Year and all these cute little designs all over it. Cute little swirlies and the party hats and balloons and all kinds of stuff. So for now, I'm going to be using this image right here, which is Confetti Falling. And I'm going to be using my Uber Chic Beauty Sticky Stamper, my Born Pretty Source Scraper. And I'm going to be using one, two, three, four, five different Born Pretty Store polishes. And these are all, um, except for the gold, these are from the Shimmer set, I guess we'll call it. And I'm going to be using the gold, the lighter of the two blues, the green. the pink and the beautiful purple and this is in no particular order so like I said I'm going to be starting out using this confetti image right here at the top and I'm going to be stamping that on all of my nails and I'm going to be using all of these colors on all of my nails so I'm just going to do one in full for you guys and then do the rest off camera because it will take forever if I showed you them all so I'm just going to start with the gold and I'm just going to grab all the confetti So there's my confetti, I hope you can see it. And let's do my middle finger to start with. And I'm just going to stamp it on anywhere. So there is my gold confetti. And I'm just going to continue doing that with all of the rest of the colors. So now I'm going to be moving on to, what is this, the lighter blue. There's my blue confetti, and I'm going to stamp this on the nail too, just anywhere is fine. Let's go down towards the bottom. And I'm not doing them all straight up and down either. Some of them are going to be straight up and down, some of them are going to be sideways, they're going to be overlapping, you know, like confetti falls. It doesn't fall straight, it falls in all kinds of crazy directions. So that's how I'm going to be stamping it. Now I'm going to be doing the green. There's my green confetti. Let's do this towards the top. Green confetti. Okay, now I'm going to move on to, what's next? The pink confetti, or the pink stamping polish, I mean. There's my confetti. Let's do this one towards the bottom. There's my pink. And finally, I'm going to be doing the purple. There's my purple. And let's do this. I'm going to do this down here. Stretching up the side there. Just like that. And some of it might be a little hard to see um, through the camera, but once I top coat, it will be a lot easier. So as you can see, my nail is full of confetti falling, and that's going to be my backdrop for my whole mani. So let me go ahead and do this to my other four fingers, and I will meet you guys back.
Guys, so I finished stamping on the rest of my nails, and then I remembered that I have this polish from Danny Digits. I got this in summertime, and it's a beautiful holographic glitter polish, and it's got a scattered holographic glitter in there and a linear holographic glitter, which is super awesome, and it's called Drop the Ball, and when I got this, it was um, in her clearance, like discontinued bin, not bin, but you know, in that little section of her site, so I do know that she was phasing out these hexy bottles. So I'm thinking that she probably still has the same polish or something very similar to it on her site. So I will link her site down below, but I don't know for sure if there's anything like that on there. But it's a beautiful polish, and I don't know if you can see this on my ring finger, but it's got um, holographic um, snowflake-shaped glitters in there too, which are beautiful, but they're really hard to get out of the bottle. Um, you can't even really see them in the bottle. I found them. I didn't even realize they were in there until after I had it. And I had to, like, dig them out with a toothpick, which kind of sucks. So that also might be why she discontinued it. I'm not sure. but And it's a little thick, but it's really pretty. And, you know, it's called Drop the Ball. It's a perfect, perfect for New Year's. So I had to use it. So I popped that on my ring finger. And I'm just going to be very slightly altering what I was originally going to do. But just a little tiny bit. So I did change that. And the rest of my nails, I just kept the same, okay? And I'm still using the same plate from Uber Chic. 6-01 and I'm going to be using a few different images from this plate. I'm going to be using this little martini glass here. Um, this little heart which looks like the ball, it looks like the mirror ball that drops except for it's in a heart shape. I'm going to be using these silly little, um, you know, the goofy glasses. People often wear things like that on New Year's. I'm going to be using this cute little party hat and I'm going to be using right here where it says Happy New Year. So for this part, I'm going to be stamping with Born Pretty Store Silver Stamping Polish, and I'm still, whoops, I'm still using my Uber Chic Stamper and Born Pretty Store Scraper. So I'm going to start with the little mirror ball, well, what I'm calling the mirror ball. And I'm going to put this, there's my image, I'm going to put this in kind of in the top corner of my middle finger towards my cuticle. And it looks really weird, so I'm probably going to have to re-stamp that because it just kind of looks like a blob. I don't know if I stretched it or what, but we will figure it out. And I'm going to be stamping this little martini glass, so let me grab this next, and I'm going to put this on my pointer finger. There's my martini glass. I'm going to put this in the bottom corner of my pointer finger. kind of cockeyed a little bit. I don't want any of these things to be straight. I want them to be kind of randomly sprinkled on there. So there's my martini glass. And then on my thumb, I'm going to grab these little glasses because they're big. So there they are, super cute. And I'm just going to put these going across towards the top near my cuticle. There's my little glasses. And then, I know I said I was going to be using this little hat, but I changed my mind. I'm going to actually be using the balloons for my pinky, because I don't think the hat will fit on my pinky. It's too big. Grab these cute little balloons here. There's my balloons. And let's get these straight up and down on my pinky finger. There we go. So let me go ahead and fix my middle finger, and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so I fixed my... Hold on. I'll try to do this while I'm not flicking you off. I fixed my little heart right here, as you can see. And I also switched to my black stamping polish from Born Pretty Store. And now I'm going to be stamping this Happy New Year image on my ring finger over top of this beautiful glitter. And this also is not going to be straight up and down. It's going to be um, like catty-cornered, like off to an angle. There's my image. Because, you know, New Year's Eve, people are getting toasted and they're a little tipsy. So we're going to make my nails a little tipsy, too. Hopefully the whole thing fits because it's a pretty wide image for my not-so-wide nails. So there's my Happy New Year. Hope you guys can read that. Tipsy like everyone else is going to be tonight. So let me go ahead and clean up a little bit in top coat and I'll get you guys a close-up. Okay, guys, so this is the finished Manny, my Happy New Year's Manny. There's my thumb. 
I think it's really cute. I think it's a little different than what everyone else is probably doing. Everyone else probably has gold and silver like my other um, New Year's manicure. So I hope you guys like this one. I think it came out really cute. I'm not that crazy about the heart, but that's okay. The rest of it I really like. I love the Happy New Year. I love this plate. I think it's super duper cute. Make sure you guys go check out what Char's doing, and I am going to finish the challenge. Um, I know I am a little behind. I got really sick right around Christmas, so I am going to finish the challenge, though. I, Of course, I'm going to be a couple days late with finishing, but I will finish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys all have a very safe, happy, and super fun New Year's Eve. And make sure you come back to see me next time. Comment and subscribe. Bye, guys.